Hey, what's up? This is Mia, and today we are going to talk about the solution I found to deal with the cabbage worm. So, let's begin. Last year, cabbage worms ate my plants alive. Like, I have really bad, well, we had really bad rains in St. Louis and I'm telling you when it was a nice sunny hot day we came out and everything was demolished. This year I decided to do two things um, and see how that worked out. So that's what we're going to go over. I'm going to show you how my cabbage turned out and my greens turned out. I'm also going to show you what I've used and also kind of give you tips on how to use it. So let's get started. The first thing that I did different was add herbs. This year I decided to more to add more I would say rosemary and sage and oregano by my cabbage and by my greens because I noticed that last year I didn't do as many herbs as I wanted to and I think that also played a part in the I guess turnout of my fruits and vegetables. So I really ramped up my companion planning for this year and it produced some good results. Second thing I added was insect spray. Now, before you get into it and get on me, it's organic. This is pretty cool. This is my first year doing it, but between this and the herbs, it really, really cut down on my cabbage worms. I mean, I will show you a picture if you haven't seen it already about how vicious they were last year. But with these two combined, it was great. And I didn't even have to apply this every day. This was something that I applied every two weeks. So let's go ahead and do the quick update. I'm gonna show you how it looks and then I'm going to show you my process on what I did. All right, so the first thing we're going to look at is the cabbage. Cause I got I'm so excited to show you guys the results of this combo that I'm using. So the first thing I wanna show you is how the cabbage turned out. So as I mentioned, the cabbage is doing well. And if you can see, there are no holes in any of these. I think the only thing that you see right here, see a little hole here, but I don't think I sprayed this one good enough, actually, to be honest. But no worries, we're gonna spray it and hopefully it's good from that point forward. I believe this is my green cabbage, I believe, or it's my Brussels sprout. What I put by it is rosemary. This is my rosemary right here. We have some sage over here. And everything looks like it's going well. This is my perennial over here that I tried to pull up and I caught myself pulling it up and I guess some of the pieces were still in the ground so I gotta cut some of that back. The second area I want to show you are my greens. Now, like I said, it's been raining and with my work schedule, it's been kind of difficult for me to get out here and actually pick them uh, again because I already picked them once and I thinned them out, which I need to thin them out again. But look how they turned out. And if you notice, there's not many holes. You got a couple right here on my dinosaur kill. But what I have to do is just go in and spray. And I'm gonna come out again, clip, and thin it out some more. So that's how the greens and the cabbage turned out this year. Once again, I am so, so happy and I can't wait for them to grow and grow and I can harvest them. Now. We went over the herbs a little bit. Let's go over this insect spray. So, as I mentioned, it's great for organic gardening. It does not damage your plants in any way, and it doesn't get rid of the beneficial insects. I still see insects on it, on the plants, just like normal. However, I don't see the white moth that has the cabbage worms flying anywhere near it. Matter of fact, it went from over here to my hostess. So my hostess now have holes in them. But it is what it is. It was a great experience and something had to be sacrificed. Hostess will come back stronger than ever. Anywho, this is really, really simple to, pro to use. You need about two things to get this going because you're not going to use the whole bottle in one sitting. 
So you're going to need two things. You're going to need a garden sprayer, which this is about a gallon. And you're going to need, I would say, one quart of this insect spray and some water. So how this works is that you take this, you take one of these, and you go ahead and fill it up to about a gallon of, I would say, warm water or lukewarm water. You don't need it hot and you don't need it super cold. Once you fill it up, which you can take this top off, you should actually be able to screw this off and put the water in it. The reason why I haven't unscrewed it is because I actually already have it screwed and I have the chemical and everything in it. Next, you take about four tablespoons of the insect spray and you put it in the water to create a mix. After you added this to the mix, then you simply twist it so it can raise up and you literally just push it in. What you're doing is pumping air pressure in it so that it can spray easily. And you usually keep doing this until it becomes a little more difficult to push in. After that, you push it all the way down, turn it, and you're ready to spray. When it comes to storing the insect spray and the mix that wasn't used, I still keep it in the box. So what I do, I make sure everything's closed up real nice, make sure the pressure is out as much as possible, and then I store it back in the box. I personally haven't had any issues with leaving the water mix in there. Everything works just fine. Whenever I need it, I just come out, pump it again, and walk through. Another thing that you gotta take in consideration is you want to either spray first, wait, then water, or water first, wait, then spray. Now, I say that because you don't wanna sit up there and do all that, take all that time trying to spray these plants and then turn around and water your garden because it could wash all of it away to all we know. All we know. That's just me and my precaution. If you're different and you wanna do it all at the same time, it's your world, you know? But for me, I wait, give it about a day, then I come back out and then I water like that morning. Or if I decide that I wanna water first, I'll come back either that morning or that evening, then I'll spray. So it really depends on the day and how you feel. With that said, if you're interested in those products and trying those out, I have a link in the description below for the sprayer and the insect spray. My question to you guys, have you tried one of these methods, if not both of these methods out, and how did it work for you? Did you have a different alternative that you're like, Mia, hey, you know what, that didn't work, try this? Let me know in the comments below because I'm always willing to try something. If you have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell and like button and love button and hug button, whatever you want to do. But go ahead and hit that button. Join the family. If nothing else, you guys, you guys have an awesome day and stay super tested.